in 1851 on a street in New York. Her Susan B. Anthony's acquaintance shows her to a friend called Elizabeth Cady Stanton, another woman who has dedicated her life to women's suffrage. They became friends but didn't really meet much until one day they both had an idea to create an article about women's suffrage and blacks' rights. That article was called The Revolution that helped them proceed on with their Women's Suffrage Act. Her and Katie Elizabeth Stanton had been working for a while now, and as the time went on, her in 1852, they were invited to speak at Syracuse, New York, at a women's rights convention. At that convention, Susan B. Anthony didn't notice at her amazing talent at publicly speaking. For that advantage, they were allowed to speak at every convention they were allowed to. And in 1858, she was awarded the president for the convention. Not only did Susan B. Anthony attend conventions about women's rights, she also joined a association called the AERA, American Equal Rights Association, which helped women's blacks and rights equality. They voted on the 15th Amendment, which gave blacks ex-slaves ex the rights to vote. Susan B. Anthony didn't really accomplish anything there because it helped the blacks and they were really mad about that. Susan B. Anthony and Elizabeth Cady Stanton needed a way to spread wo uh, women's suffrage. Susan B. Anthony finally came up with an idea to s vote on the 1872 presidential election elections. Her and her three sisters entered a barber shop where the presidential elections took place and voted. About a week later, she sent a, sent a message to Elizabeth saying, I positively voted for the Republican side. She did that and two weeks later, on November 18th, 1872, she was arrested by Deputy Marshall. She was tried and convicted seven months later. She talked about the 14th Amendment and how all citizens born in the U.S. should be treated equally and have rights and laws. Her trial took place in Kanadiwa, New York. Jury would allow her to speak, but would still be convicted. During her speech, she said, I shall not pay a dollar of your injustice penalty, but because she was charged $100 but imprisonment. She, from then on, she never paid the $100. Because of, the, because of this just one vote, she. The, Women's suffrage was spread around the United States, and she spoke in 20 villages in New York, which helped her spread women's suffrage. While she was speaking, she came up with a question, is it a crime for a citizen of the U.S. to vote? And specifically put in quotes, Declaration of Independence, United States Constitution, New York Constitution, James Madison, and Thomas Paine. In 1869, Susan B. Anthony and Elizabeth Cady Stanton created an association called NWSA, National Women's Suffrage Association, only dedicated to women's suffrage. Elizabeth became president until death in 1892, then Susan B. Anthony became president. AWSA, another suffrage association, AWSA, and NWSA joined and created NAWSA, National American Women's Suffrage Association, because she loved AWSA because she loved Anna Howard Shaw, speaker of that association, because she was such a great speaker, such like Susan B. Anthony. Later, Susan B. Anthony became president of NAWSA, and Anthony and Susan and Elizabeth became made another article called The History of Women's Suffrage. She finally retired of making and joining associations in the 1900, 1900, six years before she died. Before retiring in, in 1900, she was asked a final question by one of her co-workers. Will women in the U.S. ever give the right to vote? She replied, it will come, but I shall not see it.
it is inevitable we can no more deny forever the right of self-government to one half our people than we could keep the, the Negro forever in bondage. It will not be wrought by the same disrupting forces that free the slave, but it will come, and I believe with generation. Failure is impossible. She finally died of a heart disease in, at her house on March 13, 1906. And yes, in 1920, August 26, the 19th Amendment was posted in, uh, in her memory. Every time you vote, your vote will be casting on her.